the robot allows uh, a specialist to create a uh, remote presence, as it were, uh, allows the physician quite a distance away to be able to evaluate the patient, to interact with the care providers in a rural or community healthcare site uh, in order for the specialist to work with the primary care provider to improve care for that patient. It's really about bringing urban medicine into a rural setting. With the wireless technology that we have here, this RP7 remote presence device can go anywhere in the hospital. You don't have to plug it in. It goes right into the patient rooms, right into the nursery, right into the ICU, and takes care of business. I was introduced to InTouch and have used the robotics here for several months. And the, thing that I really, the things that I like about it primarily have to do with communication. I can communicate with colleagues off-site if I need advice during surgery. I can call somebody and uh, get some help during the operation. I can communicate with families during an operation, tell them that things are going okay, that uh, the operation is progressing the way that we expected, and put their mind at ease a little bit. We can employ this technology in many different ways. We can use it for cardiology, neurology, mental health, pulmonology, ICU intensivists. There's a whole wealth of possibilities for this remote presence wireless device. The beauty of the InTouch system and the laptop I have is that I really can be just about anywhere and as long as I have wireless access then I can log into my computer so theoretically I could be on the beach or in the mountains and still be able to use this technology if I had wireless access. The robot is valuable in any circumstance in which a second opinion or an additional source of input would be valuable. And so a general surgeon seeing something in an operation that he or she didn't anticipate, being able to have a specialist, a surgeon who has had experience in doing large numbers of unusual operations could be able to beam in and offer input, offer advice. This is how you should proceed. This is a circumstance I think that you're encountering right now, one I've seen many times, but perhaps you haven't. I was able to share a very special moment recently. I was asked to bring the robot into a patient room of a mother who just delivered the day before. That baby had to be flown to Boise for neonatology services. We were able to bring the robot into the room and that mom could connect with her baby 300 miles away. So far the response has been very, very positive. And the first time I actually tried it with one of my own patients who had a baby in the NICU and I took the robot out to come and visit her and the baby, but I was still remotely in my office. Her response was, ah, oh, this is just so awesome. Um, and I think we're dealing with a group of patients in an age group where they are very comfortable with technology. So with cellular tech, uh, you can communicate with your patients or nursing staff um, from any place, to any place. I, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to a surgeon in Argentina. Uh, it's, and not just talking to them, but actually seeing each other. Uh, it's, it's really stunning. Stunning is a good word. I think we're just beginning to realize the uh, magnitude of what we can do using the RP7 remote presence device.